Hello there, this is Michael Gio, and today we got this awesome mushroom here. It's like a two day old, but it looked to me like a destroying angel. Yes, that Amanita that is called destroying angel. Now, uh, I live in the eastern part of the United States, so there's different kinds of destroying angel that we could find. Uh, not in this area, but let's say the United States and in the world. There are different species. For example, there's two main species of destroying angels that we can find in Europe, not here in the U.S. And in the western part of the United States, the destroying angel, Amarita ocreata. Now, there's different characteristics, especially ocreata and, let's say, uh, bisporigera. And one of them being the spores. Now, if you are in the field trying to identify this, again, to me, I don't want to identify this to genus and species. I know this is an Amanita. We definitely have all the characteristics for like that complex group. And I know that this is destroying angel, even though it's either this or that, the European in the United States or the one that is native from here, whatever. You see this, it looks like a destroying angel, it's definitely is gonna hurt you. This is possibly the second most dangerous mushroom that it is. Phalloides or Amanita phalloides being the number one. But again, this could kill you in 24 hours. And later, I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. But take a look at this. Now, I really wanna know what species is this. Is this actually uh, Bisporigera? Like it's, this is actually that one? So I'm gonna do some things here in order to identify this. Again. So try to identify if this is a real um, destroying angel. Um, one of the characteristics is obviously you see it look like, you know, typical, like the no wart, um, definitely an Amanita, Amanita uh, free gills, look at the veil, uh, the uh, bulb in the base. But as the name state, Amanita by Sporigera is because it has basidia or basidium that has two spores. And this is what I just found. So take a sample, check it. And this is going toward the direction of by Sporigera, just because it has two spores attached to the Basidia. Now, you can argue that um, two of those has been lost, and yes, it's true. So what should we do in this case? Well, we need to look for a pattern. If we find more that are by spores or like have two spores, then these mean that most of the basidias in here were only two spores. So how do I do it? Well, easy. You just cut a piece of the lamella, put the lamella in lactophenol blue, put a slip cover, smash it a little bit. Yes, this could disrupt the attachment of the spore, but it's good. And then microscope. So here are my findings. So in this case, you can see the basidia with the two steric mata. Steric mata is whatever comes from the basidia that attach the spores. And then obviously you can see the spores in here. We can uh, see the repeated pattern of two uh, steric mata per basidia. However, I found some of them that has four. And in this case, you can see four steric mata coming from this basidia in the middle. And on the left and right, you can see four spores attached to the basidia. Definitely, I found more with uh, two steric mata and two spores than the four. But I have to tell you that um, it is common that you could find four steric mata uh, in this case. For the habitat is around oaks and possible other hardwoods forming mycorrhizal association. They are deadly and poisonous. The toxin responsible for this is obviously the amatoxin, which inhibit the RNA polymerase 2 and 3. So this causes destruction of the liver and kidneys. 
in humans, of course, a little as half of this mushroom cap can be fatal if the victim is not treated quickly enough. If it's early after poisoning, this could be treated. However, liver damage could be irreversible. The mushroom can be confused with some edible mushrooms. However, the destroyed angel has some specific characteristic like the Amanita group and that we can separate them from other groups. The problem comes when they share the same niche. This is the dangerous part, because if you're collecting edible mushrooms, you don't want to confuse one specimen with a pile of 20 edible mushrooms. You must make sure that all the mushrooms look the same and that they are edible. It is not recommended to eat mushrooms if you're not 100% sure, obviously. So make sure that you identify each specimen if you're collecting it in a pile. In this case, look for the medium pileus with no warts, typically very smooth on the top, um, free gills crowded with short gills, and also white with white spore prints. The other is not distinctive, however, when it's old, the other can be very, very strong and unpleasant. Check this out. So at this point, this is the third day. We have like a, a sport print in there. I literally left it like this because I was trying to make them dry like this Amanita abrupta and I didn't want to put it in the dehydrator. So I left it there just to see if it actually can dry by itself like that. Uh, but now I'm getting like a very strong odor, which um, it has been um, pointed out that like destroying angel would cause like two or three days after that, like a very foul odor, which this is pretty much what happening right now. So again, another characteristic. Now these two other guys here, amazing specimen sport print like i said these are not the best sport print they were not intended to but of course you know if you leave a mushroom here then you would get spores uh, this one there's another video to talk about that one but just concentrate on this one 